Hey, what's up guys? And welcome back to another Dirt Bike Magazine video. Today, we have the 2024 Yamaha YZ125 two-stroke. In 2005, the motocross world was in the closing stages of a revolution. The 125cc two-stroke had won its last national championship, and yet Yamaha made a big investment in its two-stroke line that year. The YZ125 and YZ250 got completely new chassis and mostly new motors. Yamaha might have had the foresight to know that this redesign would have to last a very long time, but more than likely it was part of a regularly scheduled update that had been standard procedure in the motocross world for a long time. Whatever the case, the 2005 YZ125 was freakishly good. It was light, fast, and handled better than any motorcycle ever made. Yamaha nursed the previous YZ125 motor for over 20 years before giving it an update in 2022. Most of the engine parts are new, including the cylinder, head, piston, piston pin, connecting rod, crankcase, and expansion chamber. The top end is tilted about four degrees farther forward. It has different porting, and a Moto Tassinari reed cage is now standard. The car is perhaps the most interesting change. It's now a Kian power jet. This is what has come on the YZ250 for years. A separate fuel jet is wired into the ignition to provide more fuel in the meat of the power band. That is between 5,000 and 9,500 RPM when the throttle is over half open. It was pretty trippy technology back in 2005, but we suspect the biggest news to most YZ125 fans is the Makuni carb is gone. The transmission has been beefed up and the ratios for fifth and sixth are a little taller. The rear sprocket is also one tooth larger. Even then, the changes were conservative. The bike remains much as it has existed for years. It has a mechanical power valve, a key and carburetor, and a kickstarter. The most significant changes were in bodywork and rider layout. Yamaha gave the bike a smoother seat, tank junction, more spread out ergos, and a taller seat height. The KYB suspension components were updated, but they remained similar to those of Yamaha's other motocross bikes, with steel coil springs in the closed cartridge SSS fork. They also do offer a special edition white model, which is their 50th anniversary edition. The standard version sells for $7,099 and the 50th anniversary library adds $200 to the final tab. You have to admit, it's pretty cool. Yamaha is the last of the Japanese manufacturers producing two-stroke motocross bikes for people to purchase. There are two ways to look at the changes that Yamaha did in 2022 to the YZ125. Two-stroke fans can be ecstatic that the Yamaha is showing some commitment in their world. A major Japanese manufacturer opened up its corporate wallet to design a new two-stroke motor and make substantial changes to the bodywork, brakes, and suspension. The other side of the coin is a two-stroke fanatic will say it's long overdue, cite conspiracies and agendas, and complain that it's too little too late. We understand both views. The fact remains, however, that riding the 2022 Yamaha YZ125 is the most fun you can have on two wheels. You can't possibly dislike the bike, no matter who you are and what you ride. <laughs>
riding the YZ125. We have said it over and over that the YZ125 is the best handling motocross bike on earth. We might continue to say it forever. We do have to add one qualification. The YZ125 is at its best for expert level riders. That's because the YZ suspension is a little stiffer and caters to faster, harder riding. At speed, there's no suspension package that's better than the YZs. Strangely enough, in this group, the YZ also has the hardest hitting, fastest motor in comparison to the Austrian bikes. It's been a long time since we have been able to say that. It's all about context. Two years ago, we were comparing the YZ to the previous generation of Austrian bikes, which had more sheer power than anything in the current group. The bike looks and feels different because it has new bodywork on top of the same aluminum central backbone frame. The main reason Yamaha did nothing to the frame is probably because they couldn't figure out what it needed. We have often said that the 125 is the best handling motocross bike ever, and no one contradicts us. It was, however, feeling a little dated before the 2022 changes. Riders coming up from minis wouldn't know the difference, but if you rode the YZ125 after riding a current YZ250F, it would feel like you just went back in time. The seat put you in a pocket and it was difficult to move around. Now, the bike is flatter across the top. That also means it's taller in the middle. Along with the newer bodywork came a new airbox which is said to allow more air into the motor. In the suspension department, the bike got stiffer springs and new valving, but no mechanical changes. When you ride the newer generation YZ125, it feels like being reunited with an old friend. Yes, the new layout is more modern, and it will definitely be welcome to some, but realistically, it doesn't change the bike's actual performance. That's good, because we still think the YZ125 is absolutely phenomenal in the handling department. It makes you feel superhuman. You hold it wide open and somehow everything comes out perfectly. Even when you get out of shape, it isn't scary, and most of the time, it doesn't even slow you down. We could say that this is because of the weight. The new YZ125 is 203 pounds without fuel on our scale but that's normal for a 125 two-stroke. In truth, it's a great handling package with stable manners and excellent suspension. The KYB SSS fork is still the benchmark in the suspension world. The YZ is a little harder to ride than others in the class. It has a sudden and distinct hit. If you go back to the 2021 YZ125, that bike had slightly more power way down low and was a little more beginner friendly. This one is faster, but more demanding. The YZ also has a very tall seat. Most full-size adults won't care, but it can be a struggle for the youngins. The lack of electric start can also be a limiting factor for true beginners. Bottom line, in the big picture, the YZ125 hasn't changed much in 20 years. Everyone knows what it is and what it can do. That's become its biggest strength of all. While the rest of the motocross world in the 125 class is swirling around with change, the YZ125 remains an island of quality and reliability. The YZ's real strengths in suspension and handling are as valid as ever. So is the new YZ125 better than the older generation before 2022? Certainly, it has a more modern layout, is faster, and more than anything else, it's new. If you're a YZ125 lover, then this is all the justification you need to get a fresh one. <laughs> We hope you guys enjoyed the 2024 YZ125 test video. If you want to see the full in-depth test, head over to dirtbikemagazine.com. And don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube to stay up to date with the latest video releases. And if you got a little bit more time on your hands, check these videos out. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. We'll see you in the next one.